Hi, hello, good morning, and how are you today? Nice to see you here. Welcome, come in, have a seat, make yourself comfortable, and welcome to today's Facebook Live lesson. Very excited to be here, very excited to have a drink. My usual um, lemon, ginger, and honey tea in the morning. Um, so lovely to be here. It's a drizzly day. It's drizzling. You know, that soft, fine rain that comes down, but in a very good mood. I'm very excited about today's lesson. So good morning, all of you, Almaz and Pranja and Charlotte, Anna, Emily, Nitub, Vinikt, Herman, Lietzul, Abby Lasha, good to see you here. Kanishka, Nicole, nice to see you here as always. Lovely. Today, it's all about ecology and the environment, conservation. Gita, drizzling as well, right? Lucky us. Fantastic. I love a bit of drizzle. <laughs> Saeed from Iran, nice to see you here. And uh, Janelle, Janelle, hello. Nice to see you here. Brilliant. Kuram Morusia Jeha Nakshu. Excellent. Nice to see everybody. Good morning to you. If it's morning, afternoon, if it's afternoon, and something else. Good something else, if it's something else. Brilliant. Now, I did ask you, some of you, yesterday on the um, Facebook page, what are some of the major problems, ecological problems in your country? And clearly, we've got people from all over the world because the, we, I think we caught all of the problems that exist in the world. We had deforestation, people in Brazil not very happy with their president, poaching, killing endangered animals, illegal dumping, global warming. We had noise pollution, obviously people living in some big cities, uh, it's a big issue, right? Noise pollution. There was sea pollution, plastic waste, pesticides. Somebody was talking about the destruction of bees. The bee colonies are one of the most important um, animal species for our livelihood, right? Without bees, we can't pollinate flowers and crops and we have no food. And our, our bee population has dropped it just plummeted about 70%. I only know this because I watched a documentary last week about it. And um, a lot of our friends out in uh, dry desert areas were talking about de desertification, which is another big issue, right? So where the land is being ill-treated or not used correctly, and therefore we've got um, the land becoming desert, right? Anyway, it's, it's, it all sounds like doom and gloom, right? It's doom and gloom. It's all horrible and sad. But no, we're going to make ecology fun today <laughs> because not only will we look at the problems, we will look at the solutions. We are going to solve the problems, the things that not even the presidents could do. We are going to do it here in Facebook today. <laughs> Hooray. Right. Let's see. We've got a lot more people have come. Fushia, good morning. Mauricio from, from Brazil. No problems from here. Are you sure? <laughs> Elisa, Italy. Emily's talking about air pollution. Big problem in many countries, right? Now, Emmy, Emmy. As actually given a good question. Ecology is a, a branch of biology, isn't it? Hmm. Yes, it is. And that is a very good place to start, right? So ecology is a branch of biology. Biology, as you probably know, is the study of living things. Bio means life. Logi is the study of. So biology, the study of life. Ah, ecology, right? The study of eco. Eco means environment, nature, the environment. So ecology, the study of nature and the environment. Um, I looked up the definition of ecology and it says it's the interaction of organisms, i.e. animals, 
organisms, really animals and plants, um, with their environment. So the interaction of animals and plants with their in- environment. The environment consists of living things and non-living things, right? You've got your trees, your grass, you've got your water, but you've also got the wind, um, soil, things that are maybe not living. I think they call it biotic and abiotic, I think. can't remember my schoolboy biology. Um, Isn't it strange, right? At school, we study biology, but we don't really study ecology. Well, we, we, me, I never studied ecology at school, but I'm sure nowadays kids do, right? I suppose they do. So repeat with me, right? Ecology, ecology, ecological, ecological. You see the change in stress? Ecological. And notice it's not eco lot, it's eka. Eka, because we don't stress the k, the co, it becomes k. Ecological. Nice. Eco friendly. Ecosystem. Some, this may be American, some people say ecosystem, but maybe that's American. Being British, ecosystem. Okay, great. So that is a very, very good place to start. Well done, Emmy, for taking us there. Now then, brilliant environmental issues. Uh, Fatima from Pakistan, nice to see you here again. Seaman, environmental issues, absolutely. Love your avatar, Seaman. <laughs> Sana, nice to see you as always. Good. Uh, Kamal Preet, talking about global warming. We are going to talk about that. And deforestation from Lynn, exactly. We're going to talk about deforestation, global warming. Um, interesting. Vinat, human ecology, human environment. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Great. Misty, what a nice name. Misty from Vietnam. <laughs> Brilliant. Sally from Dubai, welcome in, everybody. Great. Um, Now we've got a nice little summary here. Mahesh, it's always nice for people to do a little summary to help us keep up to date. Noise pollution, desertification, pollution in water. Good. We would normally say water pollution, right? You've got air pollution, water pollution, noise pollution. Soil pollution, sea pollution, soil erosion, nice. No proper drainage system and and garbage and many, many, many. Yes, exactly. Now from Japan, Amelia, light pollution. That's interesting. Explain to us what light pollution is. I can guess, but I'm not sure if I'm right. Too much light, right? Is that like where you have too much light from the from the street lights and things like that? Maybe. Yes, Rajvina, doom and gloom, a feeling that a situation is bad and without hope. But today we're turning gloom, doom and gloom upside down to make it happiness and happiness. <laughs> right, hung. Everybody's asking this. Everybody's like, yes, really interesting, but what are the new questions, right? Every uh, email I get is like, Keith, what are the new questions in May? So the answer is, my last answer, I don't know. Nobody knows. So don't listen to anybody who tells you because nobody knows yet um, until the questions come out on the 1st of May. Now, it looks like most countries have not got any tests in May. Um, So we won't really know until the tests begin what the questions are. So hold on to your horses. Nice expression. Hold on to your horses, like when you're riding a horse, right? Hold on to your horses means wait, be patient. Okay. (laughs) Zhe from China. Excellent. Always nice to have the Chinese over here on uh, YouTube or Facebook. Brilliant. So let's move on. Um, now, I'm just going to stroll through, keep up to date with what you're saying. Um, 
Excellent. Good. I'm going to start with some questions. Okay. Um, we've got part one questions and part three questions. There have been recently questions about rubbish and keeping your city clean, right? Um, and then part three, we always get environmental questions. So we'll focus on part three, but just let me share with you um, some of the part one questions. And in fact, we'll, we'll have a look at these, look at some answers and some language we can use for this, right? Brilliant. Did I see someone living in Bristol? Stephenson. Right, Brazilian living in Bristol. Lucky you. What's it like in Bristol today? Now, great. Part one. Do you think it's important to keep the city clean? Have you ever taken action to prevent the environment fr <laughs> from pollution? Okay. Right. Good. So, do you think, well, okay, let me ask you guys, right? Do you think it's important to keep the city or your city um, clean? Uh, Michaela, you're asking about IELTS indicator. I'll talk to you later about it. Remind me later. Yes. So, do you think it's important to keep the city clean? Let's see what you think. Is it important? Now, um, is it important to keep the city clean? What do you think? I was going to answer, but I want to wait to see what you guys come up with. Okay, good. So, Ina, right now, yes, because during the pandemic, right? Yes, because we've, we've got the pandemic and it's important because, mm -mm -mm -mm, right? Yes, Armir says we should separate our different types of garbage. Nice. Garbage, of course, in America, garbage. In English, in England, uh, rubbish. So we can separate our different types of garbage. Uh, good. So recycle. Yeah. Nice expression from Katya. I think it's of the uppermost importance to keep the city clean. That's nice. Make a note of that. It's of the uppermost importance to, right? It's really important to. Nice. Good. <clears throat> Great. No, people live in Thailand, don't care about the environment at all. Oh, dear. And that's a problem because, give me more. <clears throat> Where are we? Yes, somebody said yes. I think so. It should be taken by us. Even I keep my home first clean, then the veranda. You keep your home clean, then the veranda. Right, that's keeping your own home clean. What about the city? <clears throat> yeah. Can you? Absolutely, because it would be nice and pleasant to live in a clean environment. <clears throat> That's nice. These binomials are great. Nice and pleasant. A and B. Notice we don't say and. We say A and B. Nice and pleasant. Those are lovely. Those are great. Neat and tidy. Uh, there's lots of them. Obviously, I can't think of any now because of this pressure. Um, neat and tidy, nice and pleasant, quick and simple. These are lovely, natural English expressions. Great. It would be nice and pleasant to live in a clean environment. Good. Excellent. Now, um, okay, let me just share one more from Bui. I think it's crucial, Bui looking like Hermione, I think it's crucial to clean the city due to glamorous views and protect the wildlife animals. Right. When you say wildlife and animals, you don't need them together to protect the wildlife. Boom. No animals. Okay. So one way to approach this, is it important, right, to keep the city clean? Yes, it's important because we want to live in a n nice, neat and tidy environment. If not, the consequences are terrible. The consequences are dire. Um, if not, it can lead to excessive pollution in the streets, um, the, uh, uh, people throwing away plastic carelessly, and this plastic will then um, 
infect or contaminate the water supply. Our streets will look messy and smelly, and it will be a really horrible environment in which to live, right? So the idea, is it important to, it, it's a good idea to say yes, because if not, the consequences are dire. So talk about, if not, what the consequences are, right? Okay, so typically, I would say something like this. Um, let me share this one with you. Where are we? Gosh, I have to scroll down so much. <clears throat> yes, right? Da, 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 da. If not, the consequences are dire. That's nice. Dire consequences. Dire means very bad. It can lead to um, smelly environment, plastic pollution of the water, blah, 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 blah. So that's a nice little phrase you can, you can, you can use there, right? Okay, good. Let me have a look what else we've got. Right, okay, from Barcelona. Ruth, in, absolutely in Barcelona, it made a huge difference. It instantly became a huge pole of attraction for tourists, keeping the city clean, right? So it was important for tourism. Very, very good. Right, great. Uh, Rimsha, it is your obligation to be a socially responsible citizen. Yes, good. Now, remember in part one, right, you want to talk about me. So if you're in part one and you hear yourself saying you should, it's your obligation, you should, we should, stop yourself and change it to I because it's part one and it really must be about you right? So yes, I think it's important. It's my obligation to be a social responsible person, a socially responsible person. So always use I, right? If you find yourself saying you, they, we, stop. It's I in part one. That's my tip of the day. <laughs> Great. So um, is it important to keep the city clean? Yes. So we've talked a bit about recycling. Let's see what else you've got here. Um, yep, yeah, dumping waste out of the houses, out or outside of the houses. Now, when you say dumping, I assume you mean not putting it in the correct place, but just leaving it on the street, which is terrible, right? And leads to... Um, well, this build up, it leads to a build up. It leads to a build up of waste on the street that is an eyesore and smelly. An eyesore. That's nice because an eyesore is something that makes your eyes hurt, right? It's something that's not attractive to look at, right? It's an eyesore. And um, let me write this down for you. An eyesore. So if you have all of this, a, a buildup of rubbish or a buildup of garbage, if you're American, um, it's an eyesore, right? You go down the street and there's just plastic bags everywhere and it's a mess. It's an eyesore, right? Excellent. Let me just share this with you. Let me bring in my little whiteboard. <laughs> Here we go. So yes, if not, da, 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 da. Okay, it can lead to a buildup of rubbish. Okay, notice we can say waste, rubbish, garbage. There's lots of words, actually. Litter, all of these, junk. There's so many words for rubbish. Uh, and it can be an eyesore, so something that is not nice to look at. It can be an eyesore. And of course, pollution, just to make it clear, we've got many kinds of pollution, air pollution, noise pollution, water pollution, sea pollution, soil pollution. Right. Excellent. Okay. Let's um, have a look. Da, 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 da. Oh, this is a bit different. I'll come back to that in a moment. I'll come back to me. Yeah, 
Now then, we've got a very quick learner here. Kyun, frankly speaking, it's necessary to protect the environment and make it clean and fresh. Again, neat and tidy, clean and fresh. These are lovely, natural English binomials, we call them, and they're really good to use. They will impress your examiner. In fact, any British person you speak to. <laughs> good. Okay, so... Ooh. Now then, this is interesting. Um, okay, this is good. But there's one thing to notice, Mansour. We will face, without the two, we will face bacterial and viral and fungi disease, yes, if we don't pay attention to cleanliness, not sanity. There is the Latin word that means sano, sanidad, meaning uh, clean. But sanity in English means your sanity of your head, whether you're... Um, sane or insane, right, if you're not crazy. So it's not about craziness, it's about cleanliness. So pay attention to cleanliness. I think that's what we need here, Mansour. Great. Okay, good. Now, let me move on to another question, part one question. Again, it's a you question. It's all about you. Let me bring you down... Have you ever taken action to prevent the environment from pollution? Right. Have you ever taken action? Let's have a look. And as you're doing that, I'm going to have a look. Ah, sanitization. Good. Yes. Good. Somebody's just point out sanity, the cleanliness. Another word for cleanliness is sanitization. That's the good word. Let's see. Good. Good. <laughs> okay. Yes, by not using plastic. Good. Yes, I did by encouraging people to plant Trees, well done. I wonder how you did that. Yes, I reduced plastic use. Pranjali, excellent, good. Um, Apurva, yes, me and my friends have taken taken the initiative. We've taken the initiative uh, in cleaning our college campus. Well done, you. Yes, excellent. Now then, um, rise and shine. Litter the trash. I think you mean cle clean the trash or clean up the trash. To litter is to throw the trash on the floor. So that's not going to protect your environment. So I think you mean clean up the trash, such as Frank does, right? From time to time, I will pick up rubbish in the street. Yes, that's lovely. From time to time, right? Remember to use these nice adverbial phrases, once in a while, now and then, every now and then. There's loads of them, right? From time to time. I'll just make up a few because they are, they really do help your answers, right? Um, once in a while, every now and then, times, okay? And I'll share these in a moment again. Great, good. What else have we got? Ah, good point here from Joe. I'm always trying to pick up some rubbish. Now, rubbish is one of those uncountable nouns like news, advice, information. You can't say rubbishes. You have to say rubbish. I'm always trying to pick up some rubbish, right? Great. From Zulfie, I try to... I try to recycle all the paper I used. Excellent. Good. Yes. So here we've got good. Now, I usually take public transport to my work to prevent air pollution. Very, very good. Well done, you. And that's good. Nice English as well. Yes. So saving energy. Harsh says, I always make sure to, to off 
to turn off, to turn off all my electronic devices when I don't need them. Yes. Right. Hatal. Yes, I usually don't drive my car on Sundays to do my bit in stopping air pollution. That is beautiful. I like that. To do my bit, right? To make my contribution. Let me make a note of that and share it again later. To do my bit, right? Uh, it's like to play my part, to do my duty, right? Uh, to contribute, if you like. Great, Hatal. That's really nice. Like it. Good. So lots of people, yes, lots of people are doing great things. I've planted many trees in my garden. Excellent. So reusable bags is nice to use reusable bags when you're shopping. Nice one, Charlotte. And we've got here running a campaign, which is great. Run a campaign with Americans to raise awareness about animal protection. That's great. Yep. So campaigns are good. We've got volunteer campaigns. Excellent. So these are things that people can do. Very, very good. Um, some campaigns have got the beach cleanup. So we do have mountain cleanups, park cleanups, beach cleanups. Excellent. Okay. So some very, very good ideas there. Um, and some excellent answers. Oh my gosh, there are so many answers. I've just seen like 300 answers. Um, so let me, I'm going to have to go all the way past to get to the next question. That was great. Let me just share with you just to recap. It's always good to recap. <laughs> um, I was looking at this one from time to time. So sometimes once in a while is another one once in a while every now and then at times right and to do my bit i like to do my bit kind of to play my part okay excellent let's have a look at ah no this question have you ever taken action so here are a few ideas right from my side you can say, some people said, I try to, right? Now, that's great. You can say, I try to, or I'm careful to. I'm careful to recycle. I'm careful to pick up the rubbish, for example, right? Or, so that's nice. Or you can say, I strive to. I strive to pick up the rubbish. I strive, which means I try but it's a, just a – it's nice because when you say, I try to do it, it sounds like maybe you didn't succeed. You couldn't do it. But I strive to is more about motivation and energy and possibility. I think it works better here. I strive to or I strive not to, right? Maybe I strive not to use disposable plastic such as coffee cups in Starbucks. It says, yeah. I strive to turn off the lights. Yep. Yeah. Some people talked about turning off. Remember, turn off the electronic devices, turn off the lights. I strive to save energy or save water um, by not leaving the tap running. Let's change that. By not leaving the tap running unnecessarily. You know, when you're washing your hands, having a shower, cleaning the pots. So I strive to save water by not leaving the tap running unnecessarily. Great. Um, people have talked about volunteer work. I do. I have done some volunteer work. Somebody said I ran a campaign. Excellent. To raise awareness. Such good language. To raise awareness. Um, clean up beaches. So you can also talk about a beach cleanup as a, a noun or a park cleanup. Um, volunteer work to reduce plastic waste, to protect wildlife habitats. So remember we said wildlife. You don't need wildlife animals because wildlife is animals. So to protect wildlife habitats are the living 
environment or the homes of the animals. So, you know, maybe you ran a campaign to protect wildlife habitats, for example. Okay. So there is some nice... Oh, you're in the way. To you, you're in the way. Sorry. <laughs> Great. There you are. Now then, let's come back. Come back and you can see me sneaking in a bit of lemon tea. <clears throat> Good. Good. There's things about batteries as well. A few people have talked about batteries. Um, Samir has this association called e-waste, encouraging people to collect their broken devices. Yes, exactly. And somebody talked about throwing, I don't throw the empty batteries to the trash. I th throw, not throw, I throw them to the recycling bin. bin. I throw them to the recycling bin. Yeah, great, good. Okay, good. Eco-friendly bags, that's nice. Going back to the start of the class, we talked about ecology, eco-friendly. I carry my eco-friendly bag. Excellent. Yeah, this is good, you see. You've got some quick learners here. Tau, once in a while, I join some extracurricular activities at school, like planting teas, trees, <laughs> and picking up trash. Brilliant. Very, very, very nice. Now, Vidura has got a really nice word here. It's a great collocation. The carbon, excuse me, that's the T. I was able to reduce the carbon footprint by you. So remember, Vidura, it's all about you. I was able to reduce my, don't say it with pride, it's my carbon footprint. I was able to reduce my carbon footprint by using the public transport more frequently instead of using my car, instead of using my car. Brilliant. Lovely English. Um, carbon footprint is a really nice one. So that your footprint is what is the trace, the mark you leave, the impact you leave on the environment. Carbon footprint is your the impact from your use of carbon. So burning oil in your kitchen or um, the car, using your car, for example, or catching an aeroplane, taking the aeroplane, your carbon footprint is huge. So people are trying to reduce their carbon footprint by not using burning oil at home. Um, I mean, oil for the oven, for the stove, not oil for cooking. Um, by not taking their car, by flying less. Great. Okay. Very, very nice. I like it. Carbon footprint. Very good thing to talk about. Um, okay. So let's have a look. I'll just have a quick look. Any more nice ideas? There's loads of nice ideas. There's too many. What else did we have? Yeah, good. You see, you're picking this up. You are the best students ever. Last month, I had participated in a campaign to plant trees, which was an, an initiative. If it's a noun, initiative. An initiative. And it says, oh, it, it misses the best bit. Uh, it to make, where's it gone? To make the environment clean and green. Clean and green. Jazz pre. If I could do a heart shape, I would do it. But that's great. I love it. Yes. <laughs> right. Good. Stopping your friends smoking is good. Using your bicycle for the daily commute is good. Excellent ideas. Okay. Brilliant. So lots of great ideas. Let me move on to another question. Let's move into part three. Okay. Oh, I love it. I just love the way that you're all using the language I give you, right? As soon as I give you, bum, you're there using it. I strive to use the ecological energy. Ecological energy. We're going to talk about that, different kinds of energy. Ecological energy, renewable energy, right? Okay, so let's move into that next question. Part three, you may get questions like this. In which ways 
do people... So part three is not about you, I'm afraid. It's now about people, about bigger things, right? Bigger ideas. So, for example, in which ways do people damage our planet? Okay. So people, in which ways? In which ways do people damage our planet? First of all, which ways? It's plural. That is not so important. In your writing, IELTS writing, if it has in which ways, you must give at least two examples, right? You must make sure you answer the question. In the speaking, it doesn't matter, right? It's just about speaking and talking on this question. So don't worry if I should give, oh, is one example enough or two? Doesn't matter, okay? Just keep talking on the topic, on this question. In which ways do people... Now, this is difficult because it means people around the world, and there are many kinds of people. So one tip, if you want, with this kind of question is to choose one or two kinds of people or groups of people. In which ways do people do people damage our planet? Well, if we're talking about um, farmers, right, they use pesticides often, which damage the crops, they destroy a lot of the bugs and the animals which are beneficial for our environment. And sometimes the rain washes the, the this happened recently, there was a case in Spain um, on, the, on the coast where the farmers on the coast were using pesticide, the rain takes the pesticide into the soil and into the sea, and it was destroying all the, the wildlife or the sea life in the sea because the pesticides are toxic. So if we're talking about farmers, right, if we're talking about political leaders, da, 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 da. so that's maybe a nice idea is to decide on a group of people you want to talk about or speak generally, right? In many ways, well, people don't recycle, so they throw away plastic, which damages the environment. Um, plastic waste is one of the, the biggest causes of um, habitat destruction, um, especially in the sea, destroying wildlife, because many sea animals eat the plastic and die. Um, so you could talk about that. Many things we can talk about. It's a very, very wide question, right? Let's see what you guys have said. Let's see. <laughs> I love it. Damn man, I never ever pluck flowers like roses, Lilium, anymore to do my bit. Love it. Right. Right. Okay, that's nice, Frank. That's a good start. People do damage to our planet in a great variety of ways. Ba 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 ba. And let's see what else we've got. Yep, good. Polluting water and air. Uh, in which ways do people damage our diet? Yeah. Mahesh, how many sentences? Well, okay, just very quickly for this one. Um, how many sentences must we speak? There is no number, but generally speaking, you'll be speaking for 30 seconds up to a minute. 30 seconds up to a minute. So whatever it takes, right? Okay, we've got unco uncontrollable deforestation. Okay. Now, sound pollution, not by doing, but by causing. C-A-U-S, right? By causing sound pollution. Yep, very good one here from Leo. Travel by air too frequently. Good. We put garbage in the wrong places. Often that's called um, dumping. We dump garbage where it shouldn't go. There's landfill dumps. Yes. Good. We've got here um, the transportation used during the day damages the ozone layer and gas emissions emitted from motorbikes. So damaging the ozone layer is nice to talk about. Gas emissions also. Carbon emissions, gas emissions. Yes. Yes. So Soraya... 
people litter in the streets. So this is interesting, right? Litter is a noun, but it's also a verb to litter. I litter. People litter in the streets. The People litter in the streets and don't separate their recyclable garbage, right? Right, I like this answer from Apurva. By throwing the wastes, oh, now, I did like this answer, but <laughs> waste, countable or non-countable? Non-countable, right? Like waste, like rubbish, litter, news, information. So that means you cannot have a plural. It must be singular. By throwing the waste, but it's still it's uncountable. It's everything. By throwing the waste in the water, which will lead to, nice, water pollution. And this is the bit I like. And also, in turn, affect the health of people. It's the in turn that I like. So blah, blah, blah leads to this. And also leads to, and in turn leads to, and in turn affects meaning also or next. In this case, that's a great, I love that. That's very, very nice. Well done. Here we go. Let's see what we've got. Wow. This is an interesting one. Uh, it's going to be too long though. It's not going to show. Okay. Okay. We've got from uh, not from Joe, I've got the wrong one, but that's good. Constructing a great deal of factories is the fastest way to pollute. <laughs> that's true. That's very, um, what's the word? Uh, you're being ironic, right? You're not being serious. I mean, it's true, but it's uh, being ironic. I can't keep up with the messages. What am I going to do? Okay. Um, I'm trying to read them before I click, and as soon as I read them, they jump up. So, Trin, gas emissions from factories and exhaust fumes from vehicles have a devastating effect on the environment. Nice. Good. Yep, good. Um, here we go. We've got carbon footprint again, which is good from Gulnaz. Authorities build in – that's good, you see. Authorities. That's a group of people. The authorities – you can have the or without the. It's both are okay. Authorities build industrial centers which increase the amount of the their carbon footprint or the country's carbon footprint. Great. Good. Elena, in my opinion, people are contaminating the planet by using a lot of plastic bags, oil stoves, and pesticides used by the farmers. Yeah, absolutely. So um, Marima has got a nice kind of introduction to the answer. There is a wide array. It's nice, right? A wide range, a wide array of human activities that harm our environment. To start with, good. For starters, to begin with, to start with, the spread of human habitation, which might lead to deforestation. Yep. Excellent. Yep. Good. Carl, here you're talking about a group of people. If we're talking about cosmetic industries, great. I think cosmetic industries using many aerosols and fumes. Uh, so using many aerosols will directly affect the ozone layer. Will directly affect the ozone layer. Yes. Yes. So people are using fossil fuels with a S, destroying wildlife and wasting natural resources. Excellent. Good. Okay. So lots of great ideas. Excellent. Let me share with you a few over here, some key words, I guess, for this um, topic. Definitely talk about, well, we can talk about deforestation. So some governments are implementing, what are they implementing? <laughs> Well, they're implementing deforestation policies or they're implementing um, policies to widen our living area and in turn causing deforestation. Um, people are damaging our planet by poaching. So poaching, just to make it clear, is, is killing uh, animals, endangered, endangered animals, 
illegally. That's poaching. Um, some people have talked about throwing the waste away, so illegal dumping. So throwing your waste into a into a landfill, into the sea. And landfill or into the sea, for example, all of that is illegal dumping. Of course, there's global warming. It's a big topic to talk about. There's noise pollution. Somebody talked about light pollution, obviously air pollution in the cities. So air, air pollution obviously comes from the cars mainly, also from the factories because of the carbon emissions or the CO2 emissions. I think I had this up here, didn't I? Yes, the emission of carbon dioxide. Um, I don't know why that was up there. So let me put this here. Uh, light and air noise pollution. So we need to control the emission of carbon dioxide. Um, control carbon emissions, greenhouse gas emissions, or exhaust gases. Yep, all of these are kind of different ways of talking about these carbon emissions. Control the emission of carbon dioxide to reduce our carbon footprint. Right. Talked about that as well to reduce our carbon footprint. Lovely expression. Great. Um, there was also we've got sea pollution, pesticides, destruction of bees. We talked about and and the desert is the, the desertification. If I can speak properly. Okay, let's move on to how governments can tackle this issue. Ah, that's what that bit above is, yes. So how can governments tackle the issue? Today we promised to solve the world, right? We're going to solve all these issues. We're going to come up with the answers today. Of course, the answers is not the difficult bit. It's the implementation that is difficult, right? I think we know the answers, but the implementation is the hard bit. So how can governments tackle this issue? Right. Oh, some interesting things here. Some very interesting things. I'm going to come back to a couple of these. That's interesting. <laughs> right. Keep keep coming in with your answers. This is brilliant. Wow. Some really good answers. I'm so sorry that I cannot share all of these answers. I hope you can read a lot of them, but there's some really good things here. Somebody's talking about digital garbage. That sounds very, very interesting. Right. Now then, one of the best things you can do for the environment is to drink tea. <laughs> of course, I'm talking about your own body environment not the external environment. <clears throat> okay, so um, let's have a look. <clears throat> Daman, by using non-renewable resources unnecessarily, so sad. Ah, so the solution is to use renewable energy sources, right? Renewable energy, such as um, solar, hydro, hydro energy, water energy, wind energy, energy, things like that. Nuclear, maybe. Chai, very good. Stringent policies, right? By implementing strict laws, stringent policies. These are great. Very good. Um, let me make a note and because I've got some things and I can add these. Stringent, nice word. Great. Uh, fishing is another one. Yes, fishing. Strict laws, good. So the farmers, but we've got to, okay, let's look at solutions. Ah, make taxes, right? Ta ah, not eh, 
taxes by imposing restriction or restricting measures. So impose restricting measures. Which issue? Good question, Arpan. So the issue is um, the damage to the environment. All of them, right? Ev all of the different issues we've talked about. Use sustainable energy. So it's nice to talk about sustainable energy, renewable energy. It's quite trendy nowadays to talk about clean energy. So clean energy is uh, basically it doesn't have any carbon carbon uh, impact at all. It doesn't use any carbon. So your clean energies, they're all the same, right? Solar, wind, water, those kind of energies, sustainable energies. Yes. Nice, Rimsha. Starting campaigns. Yes. Good. Yep. So again, we've got uh, this idea of implementing fines um, for fines with a S for the ones who are responsible for the pollution. Yep. Severely punishing those who breach the law. Very nice. Breach the law. That's excellent. Nice one, Tan. Um, what else? What does tackle mean? Sorry. So tackle is to solve, to try. Oh, I love that avatar. I've seen that before. Yes. To solve the problem to try to solve the problem to tackle the problem yes making the regulation make a strict law related to the environment absolutely introducing green taxes right so there's a lot of talk nowadays about different governments having um zero carbon targets so zero carbon targets means that they will produce energy with zero carbon, no carbon at all, by 2050. And Greta Thunberg has said, 2050, it's not good enough. I want it tomorrow. And she is fantastic. I think she's doing a great uh, job with her activism. You know Greta, right? The 15-year-old Swedish girl um, pushing the governments around the world to act more quickly. Because it's true, in England, we're saying, yes, we'll be carbon neutral, like or carbon zero by 2050. That's like 20 years away. That's just crazy. That's far too, far too, far too something. <laughs> far, far too what? Far too far away. Sounds strange. Far too far away. <laughs> it's correct though. Right, let's come back. Um, mercury poisoning. Green tea. No, it's not green tea, actually. <laughs> it's, it's, it's honey lemon tea with ginger. Okay, let's come back into solutions. Taking strict action against poaching. Excellent. Encourage plantation. Yes, yes. Plantation in planting more trees. The government should forbid the cutting down of trees. Very nice, Emily. Nice language. Uh, there's something more about taxes. Government should create social awareness. Brilliant. Love it. Introduce taxes for those who pollute. Well, maybe not just those who pollute, but taxes for everybody, maybe. Uh, great. Let's look at solutions. Got a lot of problems. I need more solutions. Yeah, regulating the traffic, right? Governments need to regulate traffic and incentivate incentivize let's put that one down um incentivize incentivize i'll come back to this yeah so to give an incentive or to give a motivation right incentivize the use of renewable energy sources okay great so government imposing rules, that's great. There's something about education. Yep, Rima, educative campaigns to raise awareness. Very good, Rima. You're a, a good student of recycling. It's not just recycling. It's reduce, reuse, and recycle, the magic three. That's absolutely right. Excellent. Victoriella has just disappeared. She had solar panels. That was great. Um, by composting. Yep, brilliant. So composting, as I understand it, is we take our food waste and we recycle the food waste. 
to help use that to 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 help plants grow and trees grow right yes so something about using transport traffic transport to replace for private vehicles so using traffic or public transport to replace private vehicles very nice um yeah this is a nice expression tightening our belts tightening the belts which means to put a a budget restriction right to save money tightening the belts by putting additional taxes great let me come down um oh a raising awareness okay we've got lots and lots and lots here i'm gonna try and pick out another one or two Okay, nice in India. Jaspreet tells us awareness campaigns like in India, the Honourable Prime Minister has started a clean India movement to bring awareness about the environment. Right. Okay. And this is a nice one as well, actually, is, is giving some kind of reward in the form of a subsidy for those who are supporting the Green Revolution, right? So a subsidy is a government handout. It's a kind of money to to support people incentivize people to protect the environment excellent i am just going to share very briefly with you a couple of ideas or maybe kind of summarize the ideas here so jaspreet thank you very much for that how can governments tackle this issue so remember tackle is to kind of solve or to try to solve so they can raise awareness of so you can put anything here. I'll just give you kind of the key phrases. Raise awareness of the need to reduce um, uh, waste. Or raise awareness of the need to recycle, right? For example. Okay. Um, sensitize people. So that's the same as raise awareness, right? So to make them sensitive, sensitize people to the need to recycle, to the importance of um, using re of using renewable energy, for example. Okay. Or incentivize. We just had incentivize before, which was to to motivate. To incentivize. We've talked about renewable energy, which is basically not carbon based. It's the same as sustainable energy, which includes solar, hydro, which is water, right? That's your water energy. It's called hydro. Um, wind energy, solar, sorry, is the sun, just to make that clear. And wind. Uh, and you've got others. I mean, some people say nuclear energy. There's something called geothermal energy. Okay. Another one. Um, and in fact, I, I'm going to share a link with you here, which you can go away and have a look at later. But it's a, it's an interesting link that just shows you the different kinds. Um, I can actually just show you very briefly over here on the other tab and then later you can go and have a look at this but it shows you um it's the department of energy from the states i think it talks about clean energy and the clean energy revolution right if it is a revolution but it goes on to talk about solar wind water geothermal energy this is heat energy from the earth um, bio energy to sustain and transform the nation's abundant renewable sources into biomass energy, nuclear as well, hydrogen and fuel cells, right? Recycling those um, batteries. So if you're interested and you want to read more about it, I think this is a useful a useful little website to, to have a look at, right? Get some interesting information there. Okay, so just coming back here then, we've talked also about zero carbon energy targets and it's so important for the governments to set zero carbon energy targets or to reduce their carbon footprint to net zero which means zero net zero just means zero but this is the kind of trendy language politicians are using so if you can use the same trendy language you'll look very very good 
Um, later, I'll share this link and you can have a look at the UK, what the government is doing for their zero carbon target for 2050. Oh, for goodness sake, 2050. Come on, get yourself together. Get moving. <laughs> Use electric cars. We've talked about public transport, right? But you can also use your electric car or take public transport. Another one, plant trees, use plastic substitutes. We can talk about the government set needs to set up initiatives, implement policies, put measures in place, right? Um, a few of you, just what a few of you said before, this was nice, impose restrictions on, um, put in place stringent policies. So all of these are really nice expressions you can use um, to talk about what the government should do, right? Set up initiatives to protect wildlife, natural habitats, forests, endangered species, blah, 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 right? So there are some interesting expressions you can be using. Fantastic. Brilliant. Some of these are mine, but I recognize a lot of these are yours, actually, all of your stuff. Brilliant. Now, um, I've gone over time, so I'm going to start winding up, finishing. Um, I will, as always, put the notes um, in two places, actually. One is on my website. Just go to the live lesson tab. Um, and the other one is in the Facebook group. So if you're not a member of the Facebook group, come and join the Facebook group um, and you can get the notes, join in everything else that we're doing there to help you with your IELTS speaking preparation. Okay. Um, on Facebook, it's called Keith's IELTS. Keith's IELTS Mastermind Community. My God, it sounds like you know a government initiative, right? Keith's Mastermind Community. I must have been reading government documents when I made up that name. What a great name, Keith's Mastermind Community. No, it's great. I mean, that's the feedback. That's the feedback. That's the group, the Facebook group. Um, great. I can show the word. So go to the website to get the, uh, the, the well, go to the group. Go and join the group and you can get all the notes, the PDF. Or go to my website, IELTS Speaking Success, right? If you've not been there yet, please do go there because there is so much stuff for free on the website that will help you with it. Right. <laughs> yeah, Michaela, I don't know. What's with the mastermind? It's like we're the greatest minds. Not only are we good at IELTS, but we're solving the environmental crisis the world has faced. I'm going to send my notes to Donald Trump and Xi Jinping and to Boris Johnson and say, there you are. Now go to work. <laughs> Brilliant. It, I know an hour is not live uh, long enough, but I notice after an hour, I start getting tired. You probably start getting tired. I don't know. So I will wind it up at an hour. Thank you very much for coming. I know some of you have talked about the fluency gym, the DDD time. Um, for those of you who want to do the fluency gym, I will stay an extra five minutes. And I'm going to take some of the phrases from today and just do those, right? So this will help you pronunciation, intonation of the phrases from today. So it's very simple um, repetition exercise. I'll take some phrases and we'll repeat them. So please do stay for five minutes if you want to. Let me just check any questions. Questions possible, Keith? Yes, any questions? <laughs> Thank you very much, Fatima. Okay, Pachu, I will accept. If you've applied, I accept. I'm I'm not on Facebook like 24 hours a day. I'm not your guy who's completely addicted to Facebook. Um, I normally reply within a day, right? I go on Facebook maybe twice a day. So don't worry if I don't answer straight away. I normally take a day to get back to people. IELTS indicator. Okay, very briefly, because I did mention this. So IELTS indicator is an initiative by the 
the three IELTS partners, Cambridge, uh, IDP, British Council, to solve the problem of all of the tests being suspended or cancelled around the world because of coronavirus. So they have created very quickly an online test, right? 100% online. You can do the IELTS indicator test online, uh, all four parts, right, including the speaking. So it's it's a short-term solution to people not being able to do the test, right? Um now, there are some important things. One is they only do it in some countries. So you have to check the IELTS website to check the countries. They do it once a week at one time. So I think at the moment it's on Wednesday in the afternoon, I think, in most countries. And it's live, right? So you have to go there live, like today's class, and do it live. And the speaking is done by recording your voice to the answers. Um, and it then gives you a score. Now, here's the important thing. Not all the universities will accept IELTS indicator. So only do it if you're sure your university will accept it because some of them will, some of them will not. And many of them will say, well, you can do that, but you must also do the proper test later, right? So that is it there. Basically, the IELTS website is the one to go to to get more information about this if you've not heard about it. Um, in fact, there's a website called IELTS Indicator. Uh, it's, it's legitimate, right? It is absolutely legitimate. It's from the IELTS organization. It's not a scam, anything like that. It's absolutely really, really legitimate. Um, so let me show you their website. I'll just, uh, okay. The place to go is this one. Come up. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Here. That's the, the place to go. IELTS.org. And you can have a look there. Um, Okay, Canada immigration, I don't know. I don't know which immigration um, people will accept it. You will have to check on the website. Um, yes, it's valid for general. Yes. Um, anything else? Yes. Why are people asking about Duolingo? I didn't understand that. Somebody asked me about Duolingo. Let me come back in a moment. Dr. Kahir, thank you very much. Thank you. Brilliant. Nice to hear that. Um, any other questions? <laughs> any suggestions to improve vocabulary? Okay. Um, I will shortly, in the next few weeks, be doing a video on vocabulary. So look out for that, I think. When is my next session? Um, Thursday. This week. It's every Tuesday, every Thursday. 10 o'clock Spain time. Okay. What else? How much do I have to pay for the IELTS indicator? Check on the website for your country. Yes. Uh, do you think the university accepts? Um, <laughs> it depends how much they need the students to come in September. Um it will depend on it, each university. They'll make their own choice. Very hard to say. Uh, what should candidates do on the day before the test? Right. Good. Good question. Um, maybe this is the last question because it's so late. Um, what should candidates do? Relax. Um, do a very light review, right? Don't. So do a light review, maybe an hour, an hour and a half, reviewing some ideas, some papers, some vocabulary, a light review. Do a light review. Don't spend six hours studying hard, learning new things. It's a waste of time. Don't learn anything new. So just do a light review, an hour and a half maybe, and that's it. The rest of the time, relax, get your energy, eat well, sleep, 
maybe watch a film in English, listen to a podcast in English, and just get in the mood and get ready. Do some mental preparation, right? Get yourself mentally prepared. That's much more important than studying. Don't study so much the day before. Okay, brilliant. Um, hey, man, how to prepare for speaking. Go to my YouTube channel, it's all there. All the tips are there for how to prepare for speaking. Really, there's a lot there. Look at the tips. They're different playlists. There's playlists for part one, part two, part three, and there's a playlist for tips for IELTS speaking. Go and have a look there, okay? Right, brilliant. I'm going to finish up with um, the fluency gym, okay? Um Yes. Okay. Fluency Jim. I'm just going to take a few sentences a few, and we'll do some quick repetition. Okay. I'm going to finish the class. If you need to go, go. If you want to stay and practice your speaking pronunciation, we've got five minutes of that. Okay. So here we go. All you need to do is uh, listen and repeat. Okay. And when I do the sentence, there's two things. I say the sentence and you repeat it. Then I I give the intonation, like the dee 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 dee, and you repeat that and then repeat the sentence. Okay. Okay. Um it's really important to protect the environment. D D D D D D D D D D D D D It's really important to protect the environment. If not, the consequences are dire. D D D D D D D D D. If not, the consequences are dire. It could lead to deforestation. D D D D D D D D D. It could lead to deforestation. Next one. Noise pollution is one of the biggest problems in my city. D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D Noise pollution is one of the biggest problems in my city. From time to time, I'm careful to recycle my rubbish. D D D D D D D D D D D D D. From time to time, I'm careful to recycle my rubbish. It's lovely, right? You can feel this. And de, 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 de. I'm careful to recycle my rubbish. Brilliant. I did some volunteer work to clean up a local beach. I'll do that into two. I did some volunteer work. De, 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 de. 
I did some volunteer work to clean up a local beach. To clean up a local beach. Altogether, I did some volunteer work to clean up a local beach. Last one. Again, I'll do it into two. The government needs to set up some initiatives. The government needs to set up some initiatives to protect natural habitats. To protect natural habitats. Altogether, the government needs to set up some initiatives to protect natural habitats. Fantastic, brilliant, well done. Listen, hats off, respect. Thank you so much for coming today. Um, I really do admire you for doing this, you know, day after day, week after week, coming here to practice and practice. Excellent. Well done, all of you. You're doing a really good job. I hope this can help with your pronunciation and it should help with your fluency. That's why I call it the fluency gym. Um, there are some videos on YouTube. I will be doing more Fluency Gym so you can practice and practice and get better and better at English. Great. What an interesting topic, right? Thank you so much, all of you, for sticking around. Enjoy the rest of the day. Cheers. I'm off now. <clears throat> Take care. See you on Thursday. Same time, same place. Cheerio.